Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, y'all knew I was coming with this video, so let's get right into it. Chris Brown is currently trending on Twitter after photos hugged up on his fans went viral. Fans paid up to $1,000 for a VIP meet and greet and photo op with Chris Brown. Women and men child lined up and paid up for what they considered a once in a lifetime opportunity with Breezy. And let me say that this is nothing new. Chris Brown has always done meet and greets when he goes on tour and he always does these really seemingly intimate poses with his fans. I think Chris Brown has a really smart team behind him. They know the mistakes that he's made, the problematic things that, he, that he's done and said, and they're working overtime to try to get that easily manipulated, dark-skinned black woman fan base to fall in love with him again. Now, let me just say, I really don't care if you pay a million dollars to go see Chris Brown. Like, what you do with your money, that's your business. But I do have to remind the easily forgotten that Chris Brown specifically, specifically said he does not want darkies in his section. And I'm going to keep reminding y'all. Because this is more than just having a preference. You don't have to prefer dark-skinned black women. You don't have to prefer anyone who you're not attracted to. But to specifically say no dark-skinned black women can sit in my section, no dark-skinned black women can come to my parties, no dark-skinned black women in my videos, no dark-skinned black women, no dark-skinned black women, no blackies, no darkies, no nappy-headed. Like, goddamn, might as well call him Jim Crow. And I want the Chris Brown stands that are listening to this, you know, take this for what it is. I don't just come at Chris Brown. It's any and everybody, okay? Because I know y'all like to say, oh, it's not just Chris Brown, but y'all let other people do it and y'all don't say nothing. Not over here. Not, no, no, not me. I'm going to say something, whoever it is, okay? Someone tweeted, $1,000 to take a picture with Chris Brown, who would probably tell the club bouncer to kick you out of the section for not being light-skinned enough. Seeing dark-skinned women thirst over him is literally even more insane. Amnesia is present, I guess. Seeing Chris Brown being thirsted over on the timeline is so... Do we have memory loss? $1,000, damn. How much does he charge for dark-skinned black women? And then started the jokes of dark-skinned black women possibly having to pay double, triple, quadruple the price because of Chris Brown's brown paper bag test. And it seems like the only time Chris Brown will let a dark-skinned black woman within a 10-foot radius of him is when he's actually generating revenue. Or when there's a bunch of iPhone cameras recording and he doesn't want to be dragged on Twitter, so he'll put on a smile, give out a couple hugs, and be on his way. Now, let me also make this clear. You do not have to hate Chris Brown for all his stands out there who say we hating on him. You don't have to hate Chris Brown to understand and have a self-esteem to when a man says he's not interested in you, for you to also show disinterest in him. That's not hate. That's not hate. It's called reciprocity. You don't like me? Okay, I don't like you. <laughs> Plain and simple. And the women who refuse to take the hint, guess what? They get financially played. And there are a lot of males in the comment section confirming this. So someone tweeted, Chris Brown managed to make every girl he took a picture with look like the love of his life. LMAFO, I'm scared of him. Someone commented, not all of them and started laughing and they posted the picture of him with one of the dark skinned black women. And then someone else commented and said, she, you're crazy boy, this that, let me hold my bitch while she pay for my shit type of hug. Hmm, interesting. Another male responded at the register holding her waist as she slides that debit card for my PS5, fuck it. And someone responded, baby, can we stop at the corner store and get a black and mild too? laughing emojis now this is <laughs> yeah i'm a laugh too because even everyday men do this chris brown is just doing it on a more global and more talented scale he's using his talent to lure you in to pay for his lifestyle not too long ago, he was just complaining on Instagram about the lack of support for his Breezy album. 
He posted, July 8th, Breezy Deluxe album, Not That It Matters, seems like y'all only invest in the negative stories about me. Chris gets in trouble, the whole world is on it. Chris drops album, Crickets. And I'm sure he was referring to the blogs because his fans, specifically black women, will never stop standing and supporting Chris Brown. He can throw bricks at them and they will still pay and show up to smile and take pictures with him and support his concerts, etc. Chris Brown is our generation of R. Kelly, not saying that he are young women, but just saying that because of his music and his talent and the nostalgia that's tied around his career dark-skinned black women collectively will never stop supporting Chris Brown and they remind me of that girl who was damn near crying because Trey Song said he didn't want any dark skins in his section either and she was just like oh my god I've been a fan of him since I was a little girl I'm a beautiful dark-skinned girl I thought he never met a beautiful dark-skinned girl and he would see me and things would be different because I'm a fan and I love him but your dark and they are still holding up white supremacy and Jim Crow law so it's time to accept it and move on or be left behind it is what it is y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section how did you feel about Chris Brown charging a thousand dollars to take photos with him how do you feel about the dark-skinned black women in particular who said, I don't care what he did or said or what his preferences are. I'm going to be a stand and a fan till the day I die. Y'all let me know. And I'll see you at the next one.